The Obama administration continues to make a stand on climate change, working around Congress to get an international climate agreement. Even as a tough recent Gallup poll shows green issues rank quite low on America's priority list, rating with only 1% of those asked. Meanwhile, immigration, unemployment, and the cost of health care all rank higher. And some Democrats in tough re-election battles are even backing away from the president on this issue. And joining us with more of the politics of this is Susan Ferriccio, chief congressional correspondent for the Washington Examiner. Okay, we've got climate issues as 1% of people, Americans' top priorities, number one. Number two, it's not like the president doesn't have anything on his plate right now. You've got immigration, you've got ISIS, you've got Ukraine. There's a few things he's worried about. Why now take up this issue that's so controversial and not many care about? That's a great question, Leland. I think the president right now is trying to walk a line between legacy building, he's, a, he's in his second term, almost in the second half of his second term, and trying not to throw Democrats under the bus. The 2014 election right now has Democrats really vulnerable. Republicans are poised to take over the Senate. I think, I think you see the White House right now floating the climate pact idea out there in the media, and then seeing where it goes. You see pushback, as you just said. Mary Landrieu from Louisiana, also Nick Rahal from West Virginia, have all come out against this climate deal. Other Democrats have remained silent. I think you're going to see perhaps the president getting even vaguer on this climate, climate pact until after the November election. And the same applies for immigration. You just mentioned earlier in the broadcast a potential delay in the immigration uh, deportation law change. He may wait on that. Are, Dem are Democrats on Capitol Hill worried not necessarily even about the president's coattails not being big enough for them, but worried about the fact that the president's policies might be hurting them? Oh. The short answer to that is yes. I think that's why you see behind the scenes scurrying here talks between Democrats and the White House about the timing of all this. You have on immigration, immigration proponents saying he should act and do things now and not worry about politics. But you have others who are really concerned. The president has to, to decide, are we going to lose the Senate anyway? Should I just move ahead with this and ge generate more excitement from the base or should I hold off? Right now, I think you have what we've seen in the president's administration is this indecisiveness. Not only, you know, look at what just is happening with foreign policy. We don't know, we don't have a plan yet. Well, the same thing is happening with the domestic agenda. He's been really indecisive. And not a, not it, a lot of plans. With politics behind it all, right. Not a, 